Hey everyone, this is John Stearns from the Zoom Rooms team, and this is a quick demonstration of the newly expanded uh, features of our Smart Gallery uh, functionality in Zoom Rooms. Um, so this is the second phase that we pushed out. And uh, just to summarize the first phase, in case you haven't seen it, I do have a, a demonstration of this on my YouTube channel, um, and I'll link that in, in this video as well. Uh, but in the first phase, we supported Smart Gallery on Poly and Neat single camera Zoom room appliances. And what we do there is we frame out the individual faces of people inside of conference rooms. And then we send multiple streams from that single Zoom room system um, back to the Zoom meeting. So now uh, we get an up close and personal view of the people that are in the room. Um, so that's already supported um, in 5.7. Uh, we will be expanding that to Logitech and other devices in the future. Um, what we did for 5.8 was we took that concept of sending multiple streams and we extended that over to multi-camera windows or Mac-based Zoom rooms. Um, so any, any devices that already support uh, multiple cameras um, on the Windows or Mac platform, you can update those to 5.8 and you'll have this functionality. And now what you can do is rather than manually switching between camera one, camera two, camera three from the Zoom room controller, you now have the ability to send up to three video streams from three separate cameras all connected from a single Zoom room system. So you can strategically position those throughout a conference room, boardroom, training environment, uh, classroom, any type of use case there, um, and show all of those streams and all of those angles of the space simultaneously. So super helpful del delivering that smart gallery or multi-stream view experience um, in more and more devices and spaces. Um, and uh, 5.8 just became available in the last week or two. Um, so you can now uh, start to test that out. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is show you the admin experience and how simple it is to set this up. Um, so I'm going to jump into my sandbox here. And for my uh, multi-camera Zoom room system, I'm going to jump into that particular one. Um, and as I go down to the bottom here, what I'll see now is we're going to focus on default camera control mode. And in this scenario, instead of doing manual camera control or even speaker focus or auto framing, all of those are fantastic capabilities. I'm gonna go in and uh, turn on multi-stream. Um, and then it recognizes that I actually have multiple cameras already connected to this system. So I'm gonna go ahead and allow multi-camera mode. Um, that's a toggle right here. Um, so I've got that toggled on. Um, it notices that the um, secondary camera I have connected to the, this Zoom room system is a Logitech meetup. Um, and it also recognizes that I have auto framing capabilities there. So I could set the, the default camera mode of that secondary camera to manual or auto framing um, or, or manual with a, a default preset. You can have up to three presets as well. Um, so it's super simple to set this up. Um, what I'm gonna be demonstrating this on is a um, D10 uh, all-in-one um, 55 inch D7 unit. So it's a Windows-based Zoom room um, that has the camera, microphone array, speakers, uh, touch display all built in. Um, and what I did was I took this Logitech meetup camera, connected that in there. So now we have two cameras. Um, I didn't have a third camera handy, so uh, but it does support up to three separate cameras. So I'm gonna go ahead and get connected from this system and show you the experience. All righty. So now I'm connected in here from the um, multi-camera Zoom room. Again, this is a D10 all-in-one device. Uh, this is the camera um, that's built into the system here. And now what you see is there's a secondary camera stream uh, being sent from that single Zoom room system, uh, which is the Logitech meetup here. Um, so I set that as the default. So as soon as I joined in, it sends both of those camera streams simultaneously. Now I have them both um, Strate strategically positioned toward myself, but in a conference room setting, you might have these on opposite walls. You might have them focused on different parts of the room or different people. And again, you can support up to three camera streams simultaneously. Um, so just to show you some of the experience here, I'm gonna go ahead and um, switch uh, the camera. I'm gonna turn this off for a second. Um, so we'll go back to the primary um, viewing experience of the D10 system, right? So now I'm connected in here um, just from the single camera. And to turn this back on manually, what I do is I go to the um, meeting controls here and I go to switch camera. 
And instead of manually switching between the D10 camera and the Logitech Meetup, I have that same multi-camera mode toggle that I showed you in the admin portal right on the user experience as well. Um, so I can toggle that on and now you see the system is now sending multiple uh, streams simultaneously, again, from a single Zoom room system. So super powerful what we were already doing with 5.7 with Spark Gallery on single camera Zoom room appliances. Um, this is the second phase where now we support multiple cameras on Windows and Mac Zoom rooms, and we're really just getting started. So a lot more to come with Smart Gallery and multi-stream view. Uh, thanks for tuning into the demo and more to come.